Here's five times Judge Judy got humbled. Number five, Kyrie Clark. Mr. Clark snaps back at the judge when she only gave him 10 seconds to read a piece of paper. Then he even goes further and calls the judge a hater, which quickly gets his case dismissed. I just want you to read what I have right. that you're suing for and what the defendant has been served with. And that, Mr. Clark, is what you are bound to today. Mm -hmm. Kevin, I'll take that back now. I didn't read it, but okay. Well, that's, you wanna, but I just, Mr. Clark, I, I looked at it, Mr. So, I mean, Clark, I don't know why you gave it Mr. to me. Clark, I don't Mr. know what Clark, it says. Mr. I don't know what it says. Mr. I don't know Clark, what that complaint says. Mr. Clark, that would be your fault. How is it my fault? You told me to read it. You, you want me to read that whole paper in 10 seconds? So you want me to read is, something in 10 seconds? So this is what I'm going to do. Go, do what you do. I am dismissing your case without yeah, prejudice. Yeah, because I'm not you a hater, and you, you really are not intelligent at all. In which you originally Guess what, baby girl? I really don't care. We are done here. Court is adjourned. Number four, Kelly McKee. After Judge Judy tells Kelly she wouldn't make a good emergency service person, Kelly gets sassy and tells the judge she wouldn't ever give her CPR. And when she loses the case, she lets the judge know exactly how she feels. At that point, I was extremely irritated and agitated. So I was, I felt like I was, I just nearly had a collision. So I was pretty upset. So what did you do? So then I took the, um, the Pepsi that I had and I threw it into his car. That's vandalism. I bet it is. Well, it is. <laughs> it is. That's a vandalism. <laughs> You're an idiot. I know. You're Thank an you. idiot. I don't know who's going to give you a job as an emergency service person. Well, just, I wouldn't. I want to tell you something. I wouldn't. Let's because so far, we've had, so, far we've had, life, so far we've right had. So far we've had. Now even. So far we've had a lot of bad Let's judgment. Pray you don't need CPR. Let me tell you something. I wouldn't need it from you. I bet you wouldn't, because I wouldn't get it. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount requested five hundred dollars. So Thank you. insane. Thank you very much. Why is our excuse me step out? Number three. After being interrupted several times, this man confronts Judge Judy and tells her to stop talking over him. The judge doesn't appreciate his comment and dismisses his case, after which he boldly calls her a rude lady. Don't, uh, don't listen to me. Get together on your stories. You keep a witness, cutting us off. You a gotta witness let us speak had... you want us to speak, though. That's, that, that makes sense. No. It what don't? I want you okay. to answer is my questions. And then you want to talk over no, us no, and no. go to answer. I want you to answer my questions. I didn't know you would lost. When I was speaking of me getting stabbed in the face so, by a, a school so driver, the people they said it's in housing, housing, and I can't take it to criminal with her. Mr. McKay, you're not... So you cut me off again. Like, if you want me to speak, you, you can't I cut me off. I don't want you to speak. I don't want you... Every time I Mr. speak, you chop... You Mr. can't do that. That's the, it, it's hard to... That's, that's because it's my show. I understand. Good. So, so you, you get off on that. Just you a get second. off on that. Just I got a sec. You that's get off so they can my... laugh. I Are you finished? Are you? You could finish. You're, I want to tell you something. You're... F okay. You're finished. You Goodbye. Okay. Yo, um, woo, 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 bye. Bye. Number two. After being told she wasn't listening, this woman proves Judge Judy totally wrong by calmly explaining everything in full detail, leaving the judge speechless. You have receipts signed by her. You're not paying attention. I'm, I'm looking right You're at you. You're not paying attention. I'm looking right at you, Judge. You Judy. have three receipts signed by her that aren't crossed out, that aren't changed in any way for seven hundred and eighty dollars. You have one receipt. That receipt does not have anything to do with the motor part of it. So we can disregard that because when I put that on there, those are receipts that I could find and that's what got scanned. That receipt was the last payment for the oil leak problem, starting with the next receipt and the other two are the ones that pertain to the motor, along with this right here, where they lost my key, I had to go purchase another key. There's one other receipt that I did not get from them. A $65 payment is the only thing that I didn't receive that I did not get from him. I paid him a total of $925 for the motor. He said $800 for the motor, $125 for the radiator. He's been paid in full. And my car all is I, still sitting on his I, lot for 10 months. I, I, he refuses to give me my money back. All I ask. Number one. Danny Gonzalez, a father of 10 children with four different women jokes that one of the moms might be Judge Judy's daughter. Let's just say the judge was not amused. With how many different women do you have these 10 children? How many? About four. About four? What do you yeah. mean about four? What does that mean, about four? Uh, about four of them, including um, your daughter. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was just a joke, man. Let me explain something to you, fresh mouth. I'm the only one who makes jokes. And I'm not being, I'm not this making jokes. This might be joke. your show, but I'm, this is my episode. I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. You don't have, sh listen to me. You don't have, you don't have an episode. 
judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $411.17. Step out. Bodyguard Steve, when they step out.